touch me I'm falling The more you hold on to something you've lost The more you fear Catch me before it's too late Depression, anxiety Depression, anxiety One gives rise to the other It becomes a cycle Catch me, I'm falling Wouldn't you like to be free from all of that? I was interested in Next to Normal because of what a complex, interesting, wonderful piece of theater it is. Um, when we founded Encore Theater Company, we really wanted to choose pieces that were challenging for our actors, for our audience, um, as well as being relatively simple from a set and costume and prop standpoint, which has turned out to be a wonderful decision given what we faced since we originally decided on this show in January. <laughs> I've just heard about it for years and I just finally saw it at the Kennedy Center in February and was absolutely blown away by the content, the subject matter, the music, the story. It just drew me in and I knew Diana was a role that I had to play. The actors have been really, really great. I mean, starting with, this is a really unorthodox rehearsal process, starting with, you know, we did a lot of rehearsal on Zoom. The really cool thing is that, that they found a way to move through it. Each, each step of the way, it's been nerve-wracking to know if whether or not we're actually going to be able to do it or not. It's been really also wonderful to know that art can, can survive through a crisis like this. The round blue ones with food, but not with the oblong white ones. The white ones with the round yellow ones, but not with the trapezoidal green ones. Split the green ones into thirds with a tiny chisel. There's a real dedication, I think. Everyone is very invested. Um, I think both from a personal perspective, but also because they want to share this with, with the world, with people. I thought it could still potentially have the same effect on audiences just a different location and a different way of seeing the show. And you know, I think it's really about the message that counts, not really about, you know, where it is or how it's done. White day, white day, why not simply end it? We all comprehend it and most of the world will say be better off that way to be free. And maybe so is she. So normally a director would go in in a musical and be like, okay, we're going to move this way, you're going to go here, you're going to go there. So since we've had less time in the space, I've been relying on them a lot to solve problems. And then add to that the layer of we're wearing masks for the production. So we're cutting off, you know, one of the actor's tools. <laughs> and to watch them kind of get it in their body and make adjustments and still connect with each other and still be able to tell the story has been pretty amazing. Have a seat. It's good to meet you. Let's get it on now, baby! Excuse me, what? I think it's, it's really brought us together and closer as a company and as a, as a cast. I cried. <laughs> I'm afraid I really would. <laughs> We're all trying to figure this out, you know, together, which I think is, is special. One word, how are you feeling? Oh, popped up! That's oh, two! two it's okay, we'll allow it. How's everybody feeling? Ecstatic. Alive. All right. Uh, I don't have a word! I'm nervous! Um, I'll put you on the nervous. spot. Excited. Okay. That was mine. Oh, oh, all right, God. fine. When I look back on this experience, my thought will be how lucky we are to still get to do it and how important like art is during these times that we're in right now.